Welcome to EF Pod English, brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Elementary Twenty Eight, Office Phone. Good morning, Stock and Stocky Corporation. How may I direct your call? Oh, it's the English lesson. Is it that time already? My my, it sure is. I'm going to hand you over to the teacher now for your English lesson. Enjoy your class. In this lesson, we're going to learn some useful phrases to say on the telephone, like when we answer the phone. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Could I speak to John Baker, please? We'll also learn this very useful thing to say. Can I take a message? We'll learn all these things, and then we'll have a quiz at the end. But now it's time to watch the movie. Carl is trying to call Marty. Good morning, Bolster Motors. How can I help you? Hi, can I speak with Marty Bickman, please? Sure. One moment, please. Oh, I'm sorry. But Mr. Bickman isn't in his office at the moment. Can I take a message?、Uh, well, I really need to speak with him. Do you know when he will be back? He should be back in about two hours or so. Would you like his mobile number? I think I have it. It's five 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 six seven nine zero five five, right? Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, this is Marty. Hi, Marty. It's Carl. Hey, Carl. How are you? Fine. Listen, I just tried、uh, calling your office, and you weren't there. I'm afraid I can't make it to lunch today. Really? What's the problem? One of my clients has an emergency, and I have to go to check it out. Okay. Well, how about later today then? Say five o'clock. I really don't think I can make it today. No problem. I understand. I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye. Carl wants to speak to Marty. What does he say? Hi. Can I speak with Marty Bickman, please? Carl says, "Hi." Could I speak with Marty Bickman, please? It's also correct to say, "Can I speak with Marty Bickman, please?" But "could" is more formal than "can." It's better to say "could" if you don't know the other person on the telephone. Marty isn't in the office. Let's see what his secretary says. Oh, I'm sorry, but Mr. Bickman isn't in his office at the moment. Can I take a message? Marty is not there, so his secretary says, "Can I take a message?" You can also say, "I'm sorry, Marty isn't here. Can I help you?" Can I take a message? In the end, Carl rings Marty on his cell phone. Why is Carl ringing Marty? Can you remember? I'm afraid I can't make it to lunch today. I'm afraid I can't make it. We say this when we can't go to an appointment. I'm afraid means the same as I'm sorry. Let's do a few more examples. I'm very busy today. I'm afraid I can't make it for lunch. I'm sorry, I can't make it to the meeting. We're now going to have a quiz. Can you remember all those useful things we learnt to say on the telephone? I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson's not here right now. Can I take a message? Oh, can I let you hold? Do you mind? Thank you. Starkey and Starkey Corporation. Marty is not in his office. What does Marty's secretary say to Carl? Marty is not here. Can I take a message? She could also say, "Can I help you?" Carl is ringing Marty to tell him he can't meet him. What does he say? I'm afraid I can't make it, or I'm sorry, I can't make it. 
You are on the telephone. You want to speak to Jack Smith. Someone else answers the telephone. What do you say? Hello, could I speak to Jack Smith, please? No problem. Why don't I just、uh, take your number down right now and I'll give you a call back? Well done. I hope you feel more confident on the telephone now. We've talked about useful phrases such as. Could I speak with Marty Bickman, please? Marty is not here, but can I take a message? Well, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Join us again soon. Bye. Voice message, voice message.